Now this game that I'm playing tonight is called Don't Scream. Get oh, Everyone get comfortable, everyone get cozy. No, we're no longer going. Someone did not read the rules. What's happening, gamers? Happy Halloween. Hope everyone's got some, hope you've got candy that you enjoy. This is the finale for Squonktober 2023. Now this game that I'm playing tonight is called Don't Scream. Everyone, is anyone dressed up for Halloween this fine evening? It'll, it looks like a real VHS. So the way that this game works is you will be traveling through a forest for 18 minutes. Now time only moves when you are moving, so you have to be moving through the forest. The catch here is your volume cannot see now now that i'm talking you can probably see it i'll be talking a bit quieter than this if it goes over this line throughout the 18 minutes that you're playing you die and you have to start all over if i talk i get a bit closer but i talk a bit quieter like this then it is not as prone to going over the line Whereas even if I'm farther away and I'm talking a bit louder, it's it's more likely that the microphone is gonna go over the line. It said that the, the, to play as intended, I'll raise my eight finger to make this point, which was not only, you know, talk quietly, but you should play with the lights off, so it says. So I'm gonna go turn off my lights real quick. It's still gonna be kind of bright in here because of my screen. Oh, actually it's very dark in here. <laughs> get, oh, everyone get comfortable, everyone get cozy. This is probably the most comfortable thing. I mean, I, I wore it as like a joke, haha <laughs> joke, but um, it's actually, this costume is the most comfortable thing I've worn in a very long time. It's, I could sleep in this. It's like pajamas. We'll get a bit quieter now and get a bit closer so I can hop right into this game and hopefully um, my dog will stop barking and we can just kind of hop right into this, yeah, hop right into this game. Now, this damned hand, these damned eight fingers, it's gonna be a bit too hard to do with the WASD controls, so I'm gonna take that hand off for this game. I can do the other one just fine. We appear to be, oh my gosh, this game looks really realistic. I was not expecting it to look like this. Oh no, my goddess. She's alive. Oh, now she's dead. We were not quick enough to save her from bleeding out of her hand. There appears to be some wreckage amongst the forest grounds. What do we got here? Plane seats? Those look like seats of some sort. Perhaps an aircraft? Well, that, that if, it, if you didn't know it was an aircraft, that would give it away. That and a huge tire. Now, I hope this is at least somewhat relaxing for you all right now. You probably could just run around in circles and then do that for 18 minutes. But I don't think there's a lot of fun in that. This is a game you're meant to explore. Oh my gosh, look at it. Look at the plane in all its majesty. They say the graphics for this game are really, really good. What's this? What is this blinking capsule? This blinking block? Cola. I don't drink soda, you guys, but do you guys want anything? You want soda, gravy, cola, what else we got? Grizzly, cola. I think the machine's busted. Did not appear to give me the drink of choice. Let's investigate this plane somewhat. Oh, you guys have a bad feeling about this. Oh, that's not good. I suddenly no longer want to explore the plane. No, that's not, that's no good. This is no good. Maybe in a different run, but this one? No, I don't think so. Here's my camcorder is on the fritz. I think that was just a mouse. Well, that's fine. What is this, a giant die? Oh no, it looks like a giant dice. What does this say? Water tank container. Don't be lulled into... <laughs> Uh, I love nature. What a beautiful looking game. Surely there's nothing evil in these woods. That would be very unfortunate. Got another piece of the plane here. The forest critters, the pixies, and the sprites are. Okay, I'm feeling that looking behind me is not a good idea. This is a strong tree. This tree will protect us, but we have to keep moving. Thank you. Thank you, strong tree, for the strength you've provided me. We're almost at 10 minutes. This is certainly an unsettling voyage into the wilderness. One might even ask, hypothesize maybe, what we are even doing out here in the first place. It appears that there are some upside down dancing friends over there, so it seems. That's alive. Oh no, this is not good at all. Oh my, how spooky. Some people, you know, they say they'll, they'll die for their craft. I think that's, this was an art class gone wrong, to my hypothesis. I don't want to go up there. 
<laughs> that, I think, would be one of the worst things that we could do. Even the trees are trembling with fear. I wanted to originally try playing this game with the other ape glove on. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what? I, sp I think I spoke too loud. <laughs> That was scary. Who I don't know who that I don't know who that horrible woman was, but she ruined my run. Okay, back to the basics. Okay, let's everyone get cozy and comfortable again. Now for anyone who's wondering, the lore of this game is I myself am unaware. From what I've seen, you're just out here and you're in the wilderness. And that person I guess was maybe your friend? A woman who was attached to the tree with a knife? No. A lot of protesters would simply just chain themselves there. I think the knife was bad optics. We have a quaint little picnic site right here. Looks like someone is eating Doritos, Cheetos. I would have to say that that picnic looked like a real hoot. Don't think we need to run. This is certainly a very scary game. I'll give the creator credit. The grandma in the woods gave me quite a fright. It looks like there's something up ahead. Something sparkling. Perhaps it's holy protection magic. No, it's just another soda machine. And there's going to be a tornado. This lighting I can see on my webcam is very dramatic. I like with the blue in the back, contrasted with the light being cast off my golden radiant face in this monkey costume. It's very quite dramatic. It's like being at the beach. Sunset at the beach. No, it's not happening. There's rustling in the woods. Yes, it is very spooky. Although it has been a while since I've seen a landmark. The devs for this game said that the forest was very big. They said huge, in fact. So I'm very curious if I was to do multiple runs of this, would I be able to see everything? Would there still be mysteries to uncover? Going on a bit of a bushwhacking adventure here. Can't tell if some of these things are sticks or bones. Either way, I don't like it. I think I heard a child. I do occasionally like birds, but ones that fly directly with me, I am impartial towards. I'm actually not very much of a fan. It appears we've gotten out of the tall grass, which is good. I don't know what these are. Mannequins, perhaps? I guess don't stare a moose directly in the eye. They're very territorial, to my knowledge. So. That's a trap for sure. Whoever was there, the forest got to them first. Okay, I think we set a new record. No, thank you. I'll just, uh, low look. Earth, the dirt is so luminescent this evening. Would anybody care to look for worms and night crawlers and whatnot? I think that would be a much better premise for a game. Find bugs for 18 minutes. Oh no, that route was off limits now. I'm very uneasy. Oh no, no, we're no longer going. Someone did not read the rules. You're not supposed to scream. This would be crazy if this was multiplayer, or even just in VR. I'm kind of at a loss as to what to say. This reminds me of, I don't know if you guys have any amusement parks, but when I went to college, there was, I'm just a lot of spiders right there. What I was saying was, oh no, we're gonna go on another bushwhacking adventure, I just know it. When I went to college, there was an amusement park that, under most circumstances, was usually... <coughs> oh my god. <laughs> um, I mean, during most of the year, it was an amusement park, but every October, they would become the scary version of that amusement park. And there were many haunted houses, people in costumes. This reminds me a lot of that. I miss that a lot. Oh no. No, thank you. We're going back up. I don't know if you guys like haunted houses. I tend to. Not on my own. But oh no. It's the ring. We found the actual shoot location. A little horse got away. I'm not gonna say anything. Oh no. Avian flu is back. Oh no, 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 I need to be able to see. Those poor birds, I don't know what they did to deserve it, but I hope they're all now in a better place. Oh no, oh jeez. How did I die? You're the one who screamed at me. Are you for real? Oh, <laughs> scary. Are you kidding? <laughs> Oh, I'm so, I feel so 
warm and loved. <laughs> back in, okay, back back into the fray we go. Okay, four, four minutes and nine seconds is the record. Okay, rather than going in this direction, let's go in the exact opposite direction. I totally witnessed that he did not scream. Yeah, I don't know what happened. I think the mic is a bit touchy. Oh, this looks very safe and fun. Perhaps there will be a mausoleum that we can enjoy. What a nice graveyard. There definitely could have been a creature in there. Okay, the first two minutes of this is very much relaxing. We're loving life, we're thriving. The whole world is our oyster. We're perfectly safe and okay. There's not any monsters in this game or in real life. Where I'll go and explore this house, perhaps? This very awful location for real estate. It looks like, oh, a family must live here. I wish I'd made something. Some cookies, perhaps. Oh, some hooligans knocked. Oh, that's cute. And hooligans. This hooligan knocked over the trash can, though. That's kind of messed up. Now, do I want to go in there? No, not necessarily. Maybe I'll just take a peek. Well, it's fine. I know when my company's not wanted. What up, bird? Look at this dude. Yeah, I par don't particularly want to have anything to do with the people living here, I don't think. It's probably best that that new neighbor relationship wouldn't work out. Alas, the birds have risen from their tombs. I think I saw something shiny over there. There is a light though. That was a dumbass bird. Stupid bird. I guess that's what happens when you film someone without their consent though. You kinda get what's coming to you. This forest is a mess. Oh no. I'll get help, don't worry. Um, you keep resting that off. I was told this was a on-leash park. It's kind of disappointing that some community members can follow simple rules. Nonetheless, though, we keep persisting on. <laughs> These are rubber birds. They're not real. They cannot scare you. They're just Halloween decorations. It's only a matter of time at this point until we... Oh, another body. Do you want anything from the cola machine? It might not work, but I can see if you want anything. I don't agree with that place to relax. Not very, uh, comfortable. I need to pick all the... Oh. Well, they only have birds in that machine. It's no actual soda, it's just birds. Oh no, I'm sure you all saw the incredible flying woman. Looks like there's something up ahead. I'd say whatever that is is worth exploring, even if it's more soda. It's not happening. Oh, it really was just more soda. Oh no, is this? Oh, can you? I don't know if you can show that, but it appears that we're closer to this start. I think we kind of went in one big circle. That's dumb and not scary at all. It was dumb and stupid. I got a pebble in my shoe. Sorry. It's a bit difficult to walk like that. Dan spiders. It's like the guy from Bramble in the Mountain King who breathes rats. Could not tell if that was a person or... Is this the same graveyard? This feels very familiar. I think someone loaded a gun. The night fairies have come out to play. I think this is just another soda machine, unfortunately. Yeah, they have aura and limb. Nope, naked grannies. Naked grannies need not apply. I'm gonna be sticking to my suit because it's sweaty, not because of any other reason by the end of this game. I'm so dialed in right now. What was our score last time? I think it was around this. Oh no. My friends, what have they done to you? Gravity is a curse. Oh! <laughs> I think I moved too quick. <laughs> That one always gets me. That's a real stinky bummer. October 31st, 1993. It was a cold and dry Halloween evening. I found myself in the forest, separated from my friends with nothing but a video camera and a, um, never mind. I don't have the mental bandwidth to improv right now. Maybe some other time though. I'm too scared to improv, I think. Looks like there's something up there. It looks like the Halloween house again from afar. It is. I say we continue past the house and see what lies beyond the horizon. Don't honk. 
surprised there's nothing in the trees, really. It seems that most of the horrors are relegated to the ground, minus the uh, birds that drop out of the sky and the bodies that get thrown at you. Most horrors are terrestrial. It's good knowing where they come from, though, I suppose. There are horrors beyond my comprehension in the sky. I don't think I want to begin to comprehend them. But if these were not logs, but giant snakes, I think that would certainly affect the way that I traverse this environment. To the left. To the right. To the left, to the right. You can kind of do a little dance. A lot of birds in this forest. Well, I guess there's a lot of birds in any wooded environment where a nest can be constructed. And the only thing I fear in these woods is overhydration. That and ghouls. There are many, many ghouls in this forest. Someone is laughing. Not in game, but upstairs. If they they put themselves in these shoes, or feet, because I'm not wearing shoes, they would see this is not a very funny situation. This is quite the opposite of funny, I would say. It is not funny. I spot another glow. It's fine. It was just a crow, growing as they do best. Now, is what is up here another soda machine? Only a couple minutes will tell. Well, come on now. It looked like there was a faint glow. I guess that is no longer the case. Something's very funny, apparently. Upstairs. Now, could that be another... I don't think that's another survivor. Whatever that was, it just disappeared. But I still feel an obligation to move in this direction. Okay, everyone walk slowly. This is a steep drop. A warthog has escaped. A feral hog is on the loose. Now, I don't know what this is, but I can't walk up it. I think we found a boundary for the game. There appears to be an invisible wall. Unless I can walk this way. I would if I really liked to explore whatever this is. Although it's not a wall, there's no- it's a big boat. There's a huge boat out here. Now what would a boat be doing in a forest with no water and no people? It's fine, I don't know where that came from. I think someone stubbed their toe. Oh no. Oh, I hate that. That is the worst one. No, they're- You're- That looked like a gremlin, or a goblin of some kind. I don't know what that was all about. <coughs> Appears there's a different variety of creatures in this woods. The trees persist to tremble in fear, for even they know. 18 minutes is too much time to not screen. It is impressive how much they fit into 18 minutes worth of gameplay. In one map, too. I'm about to go non-verbal. <coughs> Told you, I ain't saying nothing. No, if they can't make you scream, they will try and make you laugh. Something about birds hitting the forest floor and bouncing is kind of funny. Okay, we've reached more of a clearing. Okay, I think for the last two and a half minutes, we stay where there's not a lot of foliage. No feet, please. I'm not into that kind of thing. <laughs> is that? ghoulish figure again. That's like literally just a head with arms and legs. No, no, no titties, please. I'm allergic. 90 seconds. Look at these beautiful rocks. Okay, enough. Okay, that's when you have a little lesson on personal space. I feel like it's gonna be one more. I think we did it. We did it. 18 minutes. Now, what do we do now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was mean, that last one. I'm taking these gloves off, my hands are sweaty. <laughs> oh my god, oh. Really awesome game. I'm gonna, hold on, I'm gonna turn on the lights. <laughs> I'm all pink, pink and warm.